This is the Honiger Q6 Lite 2-in-1 Smart Robot Vacuum, and it doesn't have a direct integration with Home Assistant. But that didn't stop me from adding a switch in my Home Assistant dashboard. And if we flip this switch on... Start cleaning. Yep, pure magic. Welcome back to Slacker Labs, my name is Jeff. Here at Slacker Labs, we're all about automating the boring stuff. And some of the most boring stuff we have to deal with is vacuuming our house. Thankfully, there's no labor shortage in the number of droids willing to come into our house and take care of that for us. So today, we're taking a closer look at the Honiger Q6 Lite 2-in-1 robot vacuum to see if it's the droid that could come in and eliminate your boring stuff. In full disclosure, Honiger sent the Q6 Lite robot vacuum to me at no cost so I could do this video outside of that, had no input on the contents of this video. For those of you already familiar with the Honiger brand, and for the rest of you just hearing about it for the first time, this is the light version of their full Q6 robot vacuum. But really, the only thing light about this vacuum is that it's about half the cost. Well, that, and it doesn't have a self-emptying base station like the full Q6 does. Instead, you get an extra large dustbin that can hold 600 milliliters. So while it doesn't empty the dustbin for you, it at least made sure that you could go a few runs before you had to get physical and empty it yourself. Although if you have a dog like Winston here, you're probably going to have to empty it every time. Pro tip for those of you wanting to start a robot vacuum review channel, get a dog. Then you don't have to throw sugar or any other kind of dirt onto your floor just to test the performance. And performance wise, this thing picked up an insane amount of dog hair on its first run. And I swear, a robot vacuums these floors every day. Anyway, this two-in-one robot vacuum also comes with a water tank so that it can be a mop as well. And that water tank holds 350 milliliters of water. One of the other nice things about this two-in-one is that the mop heads attach to the underside of the tank, which means you can swap them out without having to lift the vacuum up off the floor. And while this robot vacuum isn't going to completely replace your mop, it is good enough to at least do an end-of-day wipe-down of your high-traffic areas. The Q6 Lite has that familiar LiDAR turret on top, and its mapping ability is pretty good and quite fast. This vacuum really had no issues mapping my house on its first run. Okay, that's not entirely true. This one actually got wedged under two different pieces of furniture I didn't expect it to be able to get under and it snuggled with a couple of the rugs. I'm not real sure what happened here, other than maybe it decided it wanted to clean under the rug as well. The other time it had an issue with a rug, it claimed that its fall check sensor had been blocked as it was trying to transition from the hardwood onto the rug. It took a couple of tries of picking the vacuum up and putting it down on the floor before it felt safe enough again to continue its journey. And one of the other things I wasn't expecting is this vacuum is extremely quiet. The literature it comes with says it's around 62 decibels. So it's definitely quieter than your current vacuum. It also comes with a remote, although I'm not real sure what you would use that for, since we already have an app on our phone, and our phones are almost always with us. But it does make me wonder if we could automate this vacuum using an IR blaster, say the Broadlink RM Pro, if I find a way to do that, I'll make sure I do a video. Okay, let's talk about what I didn't like about this vacuum. Smart homes these days are cobbled together with lots of disparate smart home tech. And almost all of that tech comes with its own app. And by now, it's something that most of us have learned to live with. Thankfully, platforms like Amazon, Google, Hubitat, and Home Assistant exist to bring all of that disparate smart home tech together so we can build a seamless smart home without getting lost in an endless sea of apps on our phone. So going into this review, I didn't expect to have an issue integrating this with my existing smart home. After all, I have five different smart home platforms in this house. But spoiler alert, I was wrong. The app for controlling this vacuum is called Honeysmart and setting it up was pretty easy. After creating a login, you just add the vacuum. The app itself is pretty good, and it contains all of the standard features you would expect to find in an app controlling a robot vacuum. The ability to schedule when it cleans, set up no-go zones, virtual walls, and all of that. 
It was only when I went to integrate this vacuum with my existing smart home that I wanted to rage quit. It was also when I found that the Honinger Q6 Lite vacuum is built on the Tuya Smart Life platform, which is awesome. I like Tuya. Tuya integrates with Home Assistant. But instead of building their own skill for the Amazon Echo, they just decided to leverage the Smart Life skill. So I got excited and I went into my Amazon Echo and hit Discover Devices, thinking it would see the robot vacuum. Then I realized I had created another login and didn't use my Tuya Smart Life login to get into the Honey Smart app. And guess what? You can't have two different Smart Life skills on your Amazon Echo using two different logins. And I'll admit, at this point, the rest of the house knew there was an issue as well because of the words I was using. Because if you can't see where this is going, in order to use this piece of Smart Home Tech, I was going to have to disconnect the integration of my other Tuya Smart Life products. And unfortunately, it's the same deal over on the Google Home. Making your customers choose between your existing Tuya Smart Life products and this vacuum is a really bad user experience. And really disappointing for an otherwise awesome robot vacuum. But at least I know now why they included the remote. Because if you have other Tuya Smart Life products already integrated in your Amazon Echo or your Google Home, what are the chances you're going to disconnect those devices just so you can control this robot vacuum with your voice? Anyway, it's not all bad on the integration side. The Smart Life skill is a good one. And if you're using Home Assistant and you choose to hire this droid to do your cleaning, you're going to be able to leverage that Amazon skill to integrate it with Home Assistant. Given that the Q6 Lite is based on the Tuya platform, the best scenario is we could integrate this into Home Assistant using the official Tuya integration. But given that I had to create a Honiger specific login to set up this vacuum using their app, I have zero expectation that the official integration is going to work. Honestly, I didn't even try after having to kick my other two year Smart Life products off of my Amazon Echo to do this video. But since I did make that choice, we can leverage the Smart Life skill on the Amazon Echo to automate this in Home Assistant. Now, the issue with going this route is there's no syncing of states between the two platforms but we can at least initiate this vacuum from an automation inside of Home Assistant, which I consider to be a pretty big deal because that means we can automate when this vacuum runs every time we leave the house. The first task in all of this though is creating a couple of routines over on the Amazon Echo. The first routine we're gonna set up turns on the vacuum and sends it on its way. I used a voice trigger, but we're not going to use our voice, but we will need these words that we've set up here in our automation later. The second routine changes the mode to dock, which should send it home. And we'll be able to use this routine in a Home Assistant automation, which would trigger this vacuum to return home. Next, I created an input Boolean in Home Assistant to act as my device switch. You can do this part in the UI via helpers under configuration. Next, I needed an automation so that anytime the input Boolean in Home Assistant was turned on or turned off, it fired a routine on the Echo. We can build this one completely in the UI as well. And to keep things simple, we're going to use the choose action. That way we can build one automation with two triggers. One for when the switch turns on and we can give it a trigger ID to make the choose action easier to build. I used Q6S2 underscore on for this trigger ID. And then for the trigger when the input Boolean turns off, I use the trigger ID Q6S2 underscore off. Then the choose action lets us define separate sequences based on the trigger that kicked off this automation. The secret sauce to this method is the Amazon Media Player integration from Hacks. And if you don't already have it installed, there are links in the description of this video to some of my other videos that walk you through it. This integration allows us to kick off a routine using a service call like this one here. For the service call, we call the Media Player Play Media. Target is any one of our echoes. Then we set the media content ID to the exact voice trigger of our routine. And media content type is routine. Then we set up an option for when the choice is Q6S2 underscore off. And just make sure we call the appropriate routine using the media content ID field. Now I have a switch in Home Assistant that gives me control of the vacuum. Start cleaning. which means I can add an action to turn the switch on when we leave the house, which will send the Q6 Lite off to clean the house when no one is here. This isn't a perfect integration, but it does work. 
And yet, it's another example of why Home Assistant is the perfect companion for building a smart home in a world full of disparate smart home tech. Especially since lots of that tech wants to just add another app to your phone. Despite the smart life skill debacle, the Honager Q6 Lite is one of my favorite pieces of smart home tech I've tested to date. The fit and finish are top notch. It looks like a premium device without the premium device cost. And as a vacuum, it works really well. Of course, I've only really been exposed to two robot vacuums, so take that as an opinion from a guy who has limited exposure. But given that you can get the Q6 Lite on Amazon for $249 as of filming this video, this vacuum feels like a bargain. Now, if you're already deep in Tuya Smart Life products that are integrated into your smart home platforms like Amazon and Google, I would have a hard time recommending this vacuum as an addition to your existing smart home. But if you're looking for a good robot vacuum and the smart home integration isn't critical, this may be the droid you're looking for. I hope in the future that Honager updates their voice assistant skills so you don't have to choose between your existing Tuya Smart Life products and this vacuum. That said, another massive thanks to Honiger for sending me this vacuum so I could do this video. If you found value in this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already for more smart home content like this. As always, thanks for taking time out of your home automation projects to watch mine. Until next time, go automate the boring stuff.